During this demonstration, I'll take you through Illustrated Codes for Designers Residential so that you can see all of the features that are included on the DVD. Open the media by first clicking on the title and then the table of contents. This activates the main navigational structure. Notice across the top, the primary navigation to the contents is included, much like the table of contents of a book. And as I'll show you later, each of the chapter titles contains a pull-down menu, so you can easily go directly to the area of interest. If you ever wish to return to the main page, merely click on the title in the upper left of the screen. Notice the general reference toolbar to the left. This is a collapsible window, available upon demand, containing an index and a list of definitions that's searchable and scrollable within the toolbar. We'll talk about the definitions in more detail in a minute. Just note that the definitions each open in a new window and illustrate terms with a typical written definition supplemented with an animation and a podcast. Navigation to each chapter, as well as to the major headings within the chapter, is provided through the navigation bar and pull-down menus. Remember, the left general reference window may be left exposed or collapsed and hidden from view. Contents of chapters are accessed from the main chapter page by clicking on the section titles in addition to the navigation provided to each chapter's contents from the top bar, which is always present on the screen. At the beginning of each chapter is an introduction section, putting the information in context either through a story or through relevant news references. Notice that each page has the chapter title and page number, as well as navigation to go from page to page, all located consistently at the bottom of the screen. The introduction is followed by a brief synopsis of what the chapter contains and how it is structured, both in a short narrative as well as outline form. Learning objectives are specified to help you direct your learning of the chapter contents. When a table is provided for your use, it is clickable with your mouse to enlarge and to return to its regular size. I want to draw your attention additionally to this feature of animated tables. You'll benefit from additional explanations or examples of particular tables. These tables are animated to explain their effective use or structure. Not only are the individual components of the table explained, and please note how your attention is focused on those areas through the animation but we go further and illustrate an example of how the table may be used. This example of an animated table describes how to use table R502.3.12 to determine the allowable span for various wood floor joists. Specific highlights point out important areas for you to understand as you use the table. As with real life situations, judgment is required to make a final decision and the example illustrates this process as well. Illustrations are annotated within the text and are also enlargeable with a click of your mouse. These annotated illustrations provide examples of application of the information found within the text. For instance, in this case, notice that the information within the text addressing requirements for electrical receptacles is further shown on a typical residential floor plan. Photographs are also clickable to enlarge and further illustrate points made in the text or illustrations by providing additional examples. Wherever an icon is provided, as shown here, it provides the link to a website by just clicking on the icon. Through this feature, you are immediately directed to a location where you can investigate additional information and learn more. Not only are tables animated throughout this book, but many concepts are animated to provide a multimedia explanation of the topic. The same approach is found within the definitions found in the collapsible general reference toolbar. Each is provided with a written definition as well as an example to illustrate and animate the definition. Audio is included for each of the definitions. A dwelling unit definition a single unit providing complete, independent living facilities for one or more persons, including permanent provisions for living, sleeping, You eating, can control cooking, whether the audio is on or not by clicking on the speaker symbol on the screen. Rarely is code information used in isolation, and we include case studies to demonstrate application of code requirements to real conditions. 
In this example, a process of making determinations of the fit of a project on a lot is demonstrated. Through the case study, you'll see relationships of other information to IRC requirements and how they are integrated. In this case, we're showing the relationship of local zoning codes, minimum lot sizes, and the required setbacks to determine what the actual allowable buildable area is on a site. Throughout the case study, notice the relationship to particular code terms used and the further illustration of these terms. Finally, an example of the plan of a proposed project is used to investigate whether it is able to be used and if it will meet the requirements imposed by zoning ordinances. Not all of us retain information by merely reading it. Highly interactive animations provide active learning experiences allowing you to click on portions of the images and learn more. In some cases, as shown here, by clicking for more information, you will automatically be taken to the chapter or portion of the chapter discussing it in more detail. You then have control of this visual reference. Chapters end with a chapter summary, end notes, and references, as well as relevant websites or further information. When a URL is provided, it is clickable, and you can go directly to it by clicking on the underlined text. In summary, Illustrated Codes for Designers Residential provides information about laws, codes, regulations, and standards for residential environments, and positions this information in a form that not only encourages active learning, but importantly, addresses the use of codes as integral to standard design processes. By utilizing the interactive digital format, we explain requirements and then build upon them, bridging the use of laws, codes, regulations, and standards, and present them in the way designers employ them at varying phases of the design process on various projects. This interactive work additionally provides an overview of the major forces regulating the design of one- and two-family dwellings and townhomes up to three stories in height, and provides history and context embedded within. Multiple sources of information are referenced throughout the book, and links to these important organizations and information is included through web links.